car adventure is called at a dad's pickup truck. How, how tall is this? 33? Rough framing is at 34 inches. 34? Let's see if I can From the unfinished subfloor. Yeah. So, and then we're going to be putting the one and a half inch or two, one and a half to two inch butcher block countertop on top. Right now, my dad is um, framing out. The window is a little lower than where the um, countertops are going to lay. This is showing you that it's it comes up right on the window frame. So our idea is to make like a little, what would you call this, shelf? Like a little... I'll call it a planting well. <laughs> planting well. We're going to go underneath like that. And we're basically just going to create a little, yeah, a little nook where we're going to put some plants and the uh, butcher block's going to be cut out around the window. And then we're going to continue it flush to the wall. It allows us to bring this up to the height that we wanted it and kind of solves that problem. So that is what my dad is working on right now. Just got this wall in. This is the last one that I have, to, oh, one of the last ones that we're going to be doing the white on. We're not sure what the lower cabinets and what the um, benches are going to be painted, but this is one of the last ones. This, I mean, I don't, I don't know if this shows how tight it is in here. Having everything framed really makes you kind of see how all this is all going to play out. Do you think you're going to get a lot done today? Well, it's... It's actually going to be slow going because we're trying to precise the fit of things as we're going. So again, it's a big learning curve. Yeah, we have not done this before. So, you know, as novices, again, it's just patient and hard work. <laughs> I don't know what else, how else to put it. Hello, it is Sunday. I last talked to you guys Saturday. Uh, my dad just left and I'm going to show you what we got done um, so far this weekend. I'm pretty happy with it. The bottom cabinets have been framed and I think next time my dad's here we're going to work on framing the outside and starting on the the uh, drawers and um, cab you know the cabinet doors and whatnot. Since this is in its framing stage I can kind of show and tell you guys where everything's going. Right here is above the wheel well. This is going to be where our sink goes. So my dad cut this out to almost exactly what the sink is going to be. And then we'll have, you know, the sink drop down here. Um, a little bit of dead space under here. We have this kind of slender area. We're thinking cutlery drawer and maybe two deep drawers. And again, dead space here. Um, I don't have the stove out here, but our stove, is gonna sit right in this little nook that's framed out. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. So this is when you walk in. This is just gonna be one wall and one outlet, and this is gonna have the dual uh, switch for the all of the lights here and for the lights that are gonna come here underneath the cabinets. Probably like two to light up the kitchen area. I'm very tall. I'm I'm five nine. I come up way beyond this window and it would have been a hassle for me to have to bend down and wash dishes or cook if the countertop was you know as low as this so we decided to make like a little plant nook right here it's kind of the perfect location for that and here we have the fridge side this is to the t the perfect dimension for the dometic cfx 65 that we bought um, it's literally going to fit just like in like there is no more room for anything we accounted for the sliders the little um, drawer slash whatever you want to call it that it's gonna pull out on as you know we have the back bench seat over here I did get this piece cut out today my dad did that and it's painted um, I'm not sure when we're going to install that same with this wall piece this is our closet this piece is not installed yet but that's the back section and we're not really framing or doing anything with the closet because I have to install all the plumbing first on this wall and this wall might come out a little bit more that way to accommodate the 
shower uh, mixer and all that. So the closet might get a little bit smaller, but it's still a very big closet for this small home. All right, I will catch up with you guys probably in another two weeks or so when I'm off again. Um, my dad might be coming next weekend and working on by himself while I'm working just to try to get things rolling and going. So um, stay tuned. Okay, today's Sunday, uh, May 2nd, 3rd. Today's Sunday, May 3rd. Today we worked on the butcher block countertop, which was very intricate. There was no room for error. I spent a lot of time measuring, remeasuring, measuring, and remeasuring so that I didn't goof up a very expensive piece of wood. Success. Stephanie's happy, so that's what's most important. Uh, we got some drawers installed today. Those were actually easy after I got over the hurdle of the first one, making sure that it rolled back and forth nicely and flushed out you know, the front of the cabinet frame like we want. Follow me inside. This is a eight and a half inch deep by 15 inch deep shelf on all bearing, very secure hinges, I mean drawer glides. This one's a little deeper but it's the same depth. And this will be for your cutlery, I think. Basically all that we got done in seven hours, folks. Hate to say it, but we're getting to the more tedious aspects of this build. No, it's all been tedious, I take that back. The more finishing tedious. Up to this point we've been doing a lot of rough framing and a lot of rough carpentry and just planning and making sure everything was gonna work. I think I thought it should have been an undermount, but um, it works just as well to be a top mount. So we just made a, a clean cutout and it's actually easier to, to mount it from the top. I didn't have to be as precise, but it's a snug fit and it squares up nicely. And I'm thinking the faucet should go here off this corner so that I don't have to drill through a mass of wood here, even though right behind the sink would be a nice spot. More than likely we'll put it over here because there's only an inch and a half of wood, whereas here there's four and a half inches of wood and it's probably not gonna work there. Here's where the stove goes. So I had to precise this cutout here, which will be piano hinged, like so. And then this will lean back and stay in that position and the stove will be right here. When not in use, It'll rest on little ledges that keep the butcher block in place for, ext for extended countertop use. We dressed up all the hard to finish contours with quarter inch plywood. And Sarah did an exceptional job of finishing this as it's going to be exposed. Yeah, I wanted to let the people know uh, we were unsure uh, in this earlier video what we were doing. And my dad did a fantastic job getting everything to fit precisely. I could not have done this. Thank you. You're welcome. He even got this weird little angle piece up here that we were struggling with for the longest time. Uh, crop. I'm not sure if we'll put like a little piece of trim to... Caulk? Or caulk, yeah, something like that. I mean, it's up there good because there's a lot of nailers and it's glued. So, yeah, this was a, a nice tie-in from the living space into the bed space. This is really all I could come up with. I love it. Just another miserable day in Florida. And guess who's here? Little old me. So what are we working on right now? So far today, we've gotten just a few minor details done the drawer. That's where the drawer glides will go. I made a bottom so that we don't have to see that. We don't need sides, says Stephanie, so we're not getting any. It's just more weight. So we'll get that. That'll be done today because we got the right size slides, the 20 inch variety that supports up to 100 pounds, supposedly. I made a bottom for this closet. But before I did that, I cr 
crafted a place to conceal the plumbing so that it was protected and hidden. And I wasn't sure if I needed to do this side as well. It's just going to make it smaller and smaller. So I didn't no, do I that side. Fine. Okay, so then we made a cover for that. We custom made a removable panel for the plumbing to access the shutoffs and the connections. And that will be a removable part. And this is where the closet made organizer will go and possibly some additional shelving for hanging, I hope. What else? I think that's all I got done today. That's okay. It's a crappy day and... Yeah. But we're also going to try to... No, we will get that drawer done today and then I'm going to start fabricating the skeleton of the frame in here and hope to have all the cabinets done by tomorrow. End doors. Double thumbs up. <laughs> The rubber's all burned off. I've been melted off. That's yeah, okay. So I could like tape, put tape on it. Yeah, like electrical tape. So what we're doing here is my dad did not realize that the ball valves for the shower, um, just the way I had it mounted, uh, this one comes here, but the other one flips down and up so that it's going, it would hit this framework that he did. And he spent a whole day working on this. So our new plan was just to cut this down so that it will, this goes up, so that it will clear this without having to redo any of this. Just goes to show you that uh, a lot of things aren't thought out and they're kind of done in the moment and you just kind of go with the flow and figure something out, so. do a little product review on what we're using. With Butcher Block, you can kind of go a few different routes. I've seen people use polyurethane, some people using different types of oils. Oiling seems to be the standard, but it can be messy and leave a residue, and we didn't want that. I found this product. It's a oil resin-based product. It's supposed to give it a water-resistant finish, not so much like polyurethane, but if you were to spray water on, it's supposed to give you that beaded water effect and just protect it a little bit more than an oil finish would. So this is going to get four coats. It's a process. You have to wait 24 hours between each coat and we will have some beautiful butcher block countertops. So I just sanded the underside of the butcher block. Despite the fact that no one's gonna see it, there were like gooped up kind of see it like here from the resin tongue oil sealant that we use on the other side which is the side that's going to be seen so I'm basically just going to do the exact same thing on the underside just to make it look pretty I hope you can see that sheen it is just very smooth it feels almost like polyurethane but different it just all looks so good like especially the countertop like it just looks like a river look at it and this is after three coats and I oh I think you can see a little better here so that is coat three and I still think we're gonna do a fourth coat <laughs> So we're gonna end this video here. We installed the countertops. Unfortunately, we did not videotape it. So you will see the final product when we do a final tour video. Sorry to leave you hanging. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one. <laughs> like and subscribe.